there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible journaler here on YouTube, and I want to show you my new illuminated Bible. It comes in this lovely case, and it is a hard-sided, hard-backed Bible. And inside of it, I want to show you all the gold leaf in addition to the cover. This is really fancy. I had been told about it by a bunch of you guys. You said there was one with beautiful gold that you could color, and I was highly impressed. I love good typography as well as all the shiny gold. So I am very pleased with this one. It's got elegant type. A lot of the other ones are a little more casual, that sort of thing. This one is just absolutely elegant. And the first page of each chapter and then a few other pages have full art on them, a full page, which is incredibly gorgeous. And they're, the way they think through what they put in those images is just wonderful. And it comes from the scriptures. It, it's clear to me that someone has really thought about what they were drawing when they created these pictures in this Bible. But look how gorgeous these are. The question for me was, what do we color? How do we color? Is there anything we can color? Because they're just beautiful gold things and you don't need to do much to them. And you could just leave them alone and Bible journal in the other open pages. But we're going to look at Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And since this is Christmas Eve, I thought that would be a perfect verse because this is a wonderful prophecy that told us who Jesus was going to be when he came and when he came as an infant. So I am taking some watercolors. You can use any brand of watercolors that works. These are Daniel Smith watercolors and you just need to test your watercolors. I always say test everything. Don't, don't let me say that just because all the watercolors that I have work well. There were a couple brands that I got. I don't remember what they were, but they did bleed through. I think Peerless was one of them. And then there was one of the dollar store ones that didn't do well. But I'm picking up color that I've mixed with a baby wipe. And you can mix any color. You can just do a solid color and don't worry about mixing several yellows together or several pinks together. And this application is very light. You can see everything through it. You're not going to get a ton of color. But on something like this Bible that has this beautiful gold leaf, you can add color to it and and make it beautiful, make it more beautiful than it already was, but without actually having to draw anything or, or you know, have a whole bunch of mediums and stuff. You can just apply background color to it. And that's one of the things I, I like in a lot of different kinds of Bible journaling. It's intimidating if you think that you have to be able to draw in order to do Bible journaling. You don't have to. The idea of it is to make it a page that you turn to again and again. You flip to it because in your Bible, that color is going to jump out at you. And on this one, this beautiful rainbow color would actually jump out beautifully and remind you of the truth of Isaiah 9, 6. And when you need that counseling from that wonderful counselor when you need his his defending when you need to know that your prince of peace is on the job this is a great verse to remember and to be able to look at again and again with the application of the watercolor i'm actually layering some of the colors over top of each other so there's little areas where the blue and the pink together make a little purple the yellow and the pink make a little bit of an orange and I'm stopping short of the edge because the baby wipe doesn't give you that kind of detailed control. You're not going to be able to get right up to the edge. You could washi tape it and mask it out, but that seemed to be a little bit excessive to me. So I'm going through with my iron first. I tested out the iron to make sure the gold wouldn't melt, the gold leafing, and it does not melt, which is nice. But you only need a few seconds of this. Don't leave it on really long on any Bible because... Uh, it's just enough to flatten it somewhat. You're never going to get the paper back to perfectly flat, but this will help to, to get it so it's more, more in line with the rest of your Bible pages. And then I'm finishing it off by going around the outside edge with a brush where I have more control and I can finish off that yellow border. It came out really beautifully and I thought it would be a perfect, nice, simple video to share with you on Christmas Eve. And I'll also share the back of the Bible also has a verse embossed into it. There's a link to the Bible down below if you're interested in checking it out. And I 
I'm going to let you go now. So you can go and be with your families, be with your churches, worship the Lord and celebrate the coming of Jesus onto this earth to save us. God bless you. Merry Christmas.